What's going on everybody? It's April 10th, 2020. Most of New Jersey's on lockdown, so everybody is home. It's very strange seeing everybody at their house, but it is what it is. I'm on my way, I'm making a trip. I gotta get two of my prescriptions I take for my ADHD. So, it's just strange times that we find here. Not much going on outside it looks like, but it's also a very cold and windy day. Windy day. But, I mean, my neighborhood's pretty nice, I like it. A lot of people usually would be walking around, but not today. Said everybody is kinda bunkering down. We were told to prepare for a horrible two weeks. And well, according to all the people, unfortunately, not with us every day. It's a lot of people just going. It's a little scary. For the first time in my life, I have to admit, I'm a little worried to go to work. I really am. I never thought that I would feel as if I was like scared to go to work. Like I was praying every morning when I was leaving for work not to get sick and not to do anything that can cause my family to get sick. That's always been my biggest concern. I know I don't like me, if I get sick, I'm possibly high risk because not that long ago, I'm gonna say last week of January, I ended up getting I was in the emergency room. My body temperature dropped down to 94 degrees. And unfortunately, I was a colitis. I couldn't move. It was almost like a week. I couldn't, I could barely move because my intestines were just so swollen. I could barely like reach down to my side to pick anything up so I couldn't work. And now look at this. It's knocking a lot more people out of work again. And well, it is what it is. I mean, this is life, right? That's why everybody needs to have an emergency rainy day fund for when something like this goes on. Because unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm ready to go back to work or if I should just live off of my savings for a little while. It's scary times, I mean. Other people may want to work. They may not want to live off their savings. For me, I don't know. I mean, if I've got to wear a respirator when I go food shopping, I mean, not food shopping, but when I'm going in to get my pharmacies, because they said, do not go food shopping. Do not go to pharmacies. Stay in your house. Whatever you do, do not go anywhere in, like anywhere where people go for at least two or three weeks right now, because this is gonna be as we hit the plateau. I think, yes, the curve has come. They're starting to slow down on the amount of people get with positive tests. But I also believe that it's not because there's less people sick. I think right now it's because they've started closing down some testing sites, but also people are contained in their houses. And unless you've got a fever, everybody knows they're not gonna test you. You could have almost every symptom available to be to qualify for a test, and they're not gonna test you. They're pretty much gonna look at you and be like, hey, you know what? You're okay, just go home, possible flu or something, you'll get over it. I wish I'm wrong on that. I really do wish I'm wrong on that. But I just don't think I am. I really think that most people, that's why you're not seeing a big recovery rate on this thing. Most people, by the time they get tested and they're being brought in for a test, it's already too late for most of them. They're already at that point where they should have already gone in and they haven't. And now they're finally getting tested and uh-oh, almost time to hook them up to treatment like they need to get the uh, incubators and put on ventilators but I mean everybody's with masks as you can see 
Nobody goes anywhere without masks. I don't have any problems with that. I mean, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just as guilty as everybody else. I was just stopping by to see what kind of spreaders they had for fertilizer outside since where they keep them all. I'm not sure if any of those are worth my while, but I mean, I'm not sure. I got to tell my boss something. He wants to know if I'm willing to come back soon. And tell you the truth, I was already put on a two week quarantine because I got sick. I don't know if it was a cold, the flu or what. It lasted one day where I had like a pounding headache, tightness in my chest. The next day, that little tightness in my chest, but the headache was not really there. And then I was fine. I, that's more like a flu-like thing right there, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't think that was uh, Corona or COVID-19 or any other name anybody has given it. I actually believe that I just suffered like a little bit of flu and now I'm just at this point stuck out of work because I had that and I would still be on the quarantine part but the next part becomes let's see so the next part is that even though I'm off on the two week quarantine which this is the end of that second week I would be off this week and next week anyway and then going back the problem is my wife is high risk she has severe asthma so I mean if I get sick I get her sick I don't want to know what happens I don't want to live through that don't want to experience it so I think I have to lay down and just not do any work because residentially anybody going in and out of houses right now God bless you it's a scary friggin' world right now because everybody is staying home. You're not going into a house and nobody's there. People are there. We're dealing with HVAC equipment. Their HVAC equipment has all their germs on it. They're all home. It's not even like it's had a couple hours where it's not airborne. They say it could stay in the air for several hours. So if it's in the air for several hours, you think you're fine, you're walking through it. Uh, unfortunately, you're not. I mean, you're walking straight through it. Now, a lot of people gave me a lot of crap in a lot of different HVAC forums because I've been saying it's airborne for a long time. I was like, no, it's not airborne. You're making up conspiracies. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, guess what, guys? It's airborne. Why do you think it spreads so much? Why do you think for me to go into a Rite Aid to get my medication, I'm about to gear up. And I'm gonna have this, and my goggles, my Googles, should be here, but, and that's how I'm gonna go in the store. I'm surprised I'm not seeing them. Da, da, da. Cause I don't wanna go in without my goggles. Hmm, that's not good, not good. Well, I mean, you could see me. I'm a little disorganized, discombobulated, whatever you want to call it at the moment. But, hey, it's all right. Because we'll get through this. Doesn't matter. We'll get through this. And in the end, we're strong. Hopefully, if you do get it, you recover. Because not everybody recovers. A lot of people get sick and stay sick. But, well, I'm Bill, and I'm out. I'm about to go in the store. I gotta get geared up. Once I put the mask on, you won't really hear me. So, catch you guys later.